One of the ways to add capabilities to PowerShell is to import modules. Now modules are typically installed along with the management tools of an application. So for example, if you install the Remote Server Administration Toolkit, or RSAT, on Windows 7, then you'll get all of the modules that were released with Windows Server 2008 R2. I happen to be using Windows Server 2008 R2, so I'm just going to run get module dash list available. And that'll list all of the modules that are installed in the default locations on this particular computer. You can see I have one here called Active Directory. The way to load that in is to run import module and then just provide the module's name, Active Directory. Sometimes this will happen instantly, sometimes it'll take a few seconds. Here you can see it's got a little bit of, of work to do. Once that's done, the next thing you'll probably want to do is figure out what additional commands this added to the shell. Get dash command. And let's limit the commands that are displayed to just those in the Active Directory module. This is a great way to discover the commands that a particular module contains. You can see I have lots of things here. Uh, here's one called get ad domain that looks interesting. I'd like to learn a little bit more about it, so I'll run help get ad domain. And I'll get that brief little syntax reminder and a brief description of how it works. If I'd like a little bit more information, I can add the dash full to that and get information for every single one of its parameters and at the end several examples of how to use the command. So This is a great way to figure out what extensions are available, to bring an extension into the shell, figure out what commands you just added, and learn how to use a command. Now this is something that you have to do every single time you open a new shell. Once I close this window, that module is no longer loaded when I open a new PowerShell window, I'll have to import that module again. Profiles are a way to have that happen automatically every time I open a shell, and it's something you'll learn about later in the book.